new mural has been completed in downtown Northampton on the backside of Thorns Marketplace. The mural, which depicts a raccoon, was painted by artist Ernesto Maranje. Maranje has experience working all over the world, including Athens, Greece, Erbil, Iraq, and Kyiv, Ukraine. We talked to Jody Dole, marketing manager and co-owner of Thorns, about her thoughts on the new mural. How do I think having more art, public art, would change downtown Northampton? Uh, I believe that public art is an essential aspect of keeping a community energized and vital and having vitality. I think it brings in people um, from out of town. It creates interest when they're here. It's beautiful and compelling for those of us who work and live downtown. Um, and I think all of those things help uh, drive economic factors for the town and businesses like mine. And also it improves, you know, the overall vibe for the community. What inspired the choice of raccoons for the mural? The $1 million question. Okay, so if you ask the artist this, which I did ask um, him this specific question, he said that he thinks raccoons are beautiful. Ernesto, who is the artist, he does animals. That's what he does. Um, if you look at his Instagram, um, you'll see that this is his favorite uh, mode of muraling, is creating large images of, of animals. He loves the raccoon because of the cute little mask that it has. And it also provided him with an opportunity to work in a monochrome palette for the raccoon, which is grays and blacks and whites. And he enjoys that much more than working in the color that surrounds the, uh, the raccoon itself. So that's how he landed on a raccoon. What influenced our decision to work with someone from outside the valley, an artist from outside the valley? Um, I worked with uh, two other folks, two other members of the Arts Council. We were a three-member team who figured out who was going to paint the mural. And we decided because of the scale of it, it's 67 feet by 50 feet wide, that it's not, a, it, we needed to expand our search for artists from outside of the Valley because just generally people here haven't had the opportunity necessarily to do this type of work at this scale, right? So we put out a nationwide call for artist submittals and we received 87 of them. And of those 87, there were quite a few that were local. And, and honestly, a lot of the local folks had, had limited experience in this type of scale of, of mural or muraling in general. You know, it's a very specific art form, honestly. Um, so we gave those folks, the local folks, the same or more due as we judge the submissions. And we narrowed it down to four finalists. They were from all over the country. And then Ernesto wound up winning the final bid. You can see more of Maranje's work at maranje.com, at his Instagram at Ernesto Maranje, or come visit Thorns at 150 Main Street, Northampton. Thanks for watching and see you next week.